All right, guys, on the roof here up in Andover. It's got Don doing an adjustment with Sam. Nice approval here. We got a, got a nice roof and window approval. Um, so we're just gonna take a quick look at the roof, some of the components. So you got a closed valley here, right, because you can't see any of the metal. Shingles overlap, it's a closed valley. We'll come down here and take a peek. There should be metal, rolled valley metal underneath this valley. There it is. Snap a pick of that. These gutters are installed into the fascia. Sometimes you gotta watch out. The strap might be installed up below the shingle. You get some pictures of that. We charge for detach and reset. Down here, you have a starter strip. That layer right there, below the shingle. When we look at the ridge, we got high profile hip and ridge cap here. High profile has two layers. So if you lift this up, you can see one layer, two layers. It's your hip and ridge cap. Standard profile is just single ply. We have a ridge vent over here as well. You can see this, this ridge sits up an extra half inch higher. If you look around this roof, there's no turtle vents. You've got that uh, foam ridge vent below. Over here, this black vent, it's a kitchen vent. Kitchen vents, 99% of the time, are always black or shaped like that. Bathroom vents are just like that. They're just smaller, they're four inch. Bathroom vents are always black. Pipe jack PVC. Those are one size fits all anytime you have a PVC pipe. That rubber gasket down here just stretches to fit around the pipe, whatever size it is. You got a, a bath vent over here. You got a, another PVC pipe, PVC pipe jack. GAF Timber Lion Shakewood shingle on the house here. You got a chimney flashing, so you know, if you look, all this step flashing is exposed. It's tuck pointed right into the grout. What we'll do is we'll end up likely replacing that. We'll put new step flashing and we'll point, tuck pointed into the grout. But we'll cover it, we'll grind a line into the chimney and cover it with a riglet, riglet cover. It's basically just a counter flashing to uh, cover that step flashing. We grind a line into the chimney and the, the riglet has a little lip that's usually five, six inches tall or how much tall you need to cover that step flashing. Here we got a furnace stack, so we don't really ever touch these. That's your, your rain cap or your furnace cap. And then down here you got the furnace collar base. We're doing the roof, we just pop those up, nail them back down, so we just detach and reset. If you ever see one that's rusty, the base can rust out. Um, then maybe we would replace or you just get some metal tape spray paint it all when we build the roof it's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with so and then last thing we've got here is we've got a skylight so this is a fixed skylight so it's non-venting you have to check your skylight see if they vent or not 
This one's got a natural interior on it currently. Um, nowadays they ship them all standard with white, white interior, which looks like it would work pretty good because it's matching right up to a white ceiling. So when we order this roof, we'll probably order a white fixed skylight. Um, and you always want to measure the frame size. So you measure the outside of the frame from here to here is the width. And then you measure the height. So from here down to the other corner. This one's 22 by 47 and a half. It's a pretty standard size for Velux. And then you want to try and find some brand markings. So if you look here, you can see on the glass, you got a little Velux decal. And if you go down here, this is really what you want. You have a cereal plate. That'll have the serial number and the model number on it. So if you can ever find that, that's the easiest way to get a nice, perfect order because you don't want to order a skylight. A skylight, it's the wrong size.